I try to only pack what I need, but it still seems to add up. I have my pochade box, a few 9 by 12 inch canvas panels, mineral spirits, paper towels, brushes, tubes of paint, gloves, camera, tripod, jars for the spirits, an umbrella for shade, and some food and water. It's so easy for me to get lost in the beauty of a place and just wander around looking for the perfect spot. I just need to stop, get set up, and paint. A broad rim hat and long sleeves help protect from the sun and rubber gloves keep my hands clean and away from the paint and solvents. How do I communicate, in a painting, the scale of this place? There is so much information out here, how am I going to put all of that on a 9 by 12 inch canvas? Generally, a good place to begin would be to break it down and try to simplify the scene. I need to ask myself a few questions. Where's my center of interest? If I could only use five shapes, what would they be? What are the major horizontal and vertical planes, and how does light fall on them? Where is the greatest contrast? Where is my darkest dark and my lightest light? What will help lead the viewer into the scene? What's the temperature of the light? Is it warm or cool? I have to remember to squint more often. Squinting helps in simplifying the scene by reducing the value range so I can see the big shapes more easily and not get distracted by all the details. I'm not interested in the leaves on the tree. Instead, I look for the overall shape all of those leaves make. This warm, late afternoon light on the red rock is incredible. This is what I came for. This is why artists leave the comfort of their studios and paint directly from nature. The light changes fast out here, which means everything changes. The values, the colors, even the focal point of the composition can change dramatically. This means I have to commit to my composition early with a certain amount of confidence or I'll lose the day. The light is really harsh out here now. If I try to work with this light directly on my canvas and palette, it will be hard to judge the correct values and colors. I'll wind up painting too dark to compensate for the bright light. My easel needs to be set up so my canvas and palette are shaded in the same light. Since there's no shade at the spot, I'll set up the umbrella. This won't last long, so I'll concentrate on getting the big statement. Cool blues and purples in the shadows, and warm reds, yellows, and oranges in the light. There's also a hit of warm light reflecting in the river that I want to be sure to capture. Here's my five shapes, sky, ground, and three rocks. Very simple, 
very easy to get started on this piece. Water is fascinating to paint. It's both a lens and a mirror. There's a whole different landscape below the surface that reacts to the light differently than the objects that break the surface. Painting plain air is about more than a single painting, or even a series of paintings. It's about giving meaning and purpose to an experience and sharing that experience through your art. It's about connecting with your subject. Because I painted these studies on location, each time I look at them, I'm taken right back to that spot. I can feel the warmth of the sun, the coolness of the shadows. I hear the chorus of the birds and the flow of the river. I was in Zion National Park for about two weeks. During my time there, I painted 24 studies. I produced another nine paintings in my studio for this show at the Human History Museum at the park. When I decided to go to graduate school, I was looking for something that would advance my art and my career. I chose the Hartford Art School at the University of Hartford. There's no question the program raised me to another level. The faculty and my fellow students were all professionals, all of whom I've developed lifelong relationships with. As an artist in residence at Zion National Park, I needed to develop a plan, stay focused, and work hard to achieve the goals I set. Meeting the challenges of the MFA program prepared me for successfully taking on big projects like this one at Zion. My MFA degree has opened all new doors. It's given me a network of professionals I can reach out to, and has provided the credentials to teach and share my passions with others. My experience at the Hartford Art School is one I cherish and continues to enrich my life.